Growing up, I had dreams and aspirations, but always felt like the kid that didn't fit in. For the most part, I wasn't a bad kid, but when I made the transition into adulthood, I turned to the streets for guidance. This led to getting locked up in juvenile hall, doing time in CYA, and eventually a 120 month sentence in federal prison. I had a lot of time to think and reflect during my federal sentence. So I share with you what I learned, hoping I can positively influence someone else's life with Prison Talk. Getting down fresh out. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and represent. You're tuned in to another Prison Talk. If you haven't been watching social media, then you missed out on the latest smash and grab. 20 people got together to rob a jewelry store in Sunnyvale, California. 20 people. Now these 20 people couldn't come together for a good idea. And I say that out of having had a similar experience with two other people with a bad idea and that was to rob a bank see i talk from experience i don't talk out the side of my ass i don't just say things to uh try to chastise or judge i've been there been there done that and my deal was 120 months that was with a plea go to trial you're looking at 20. they don't know the law so they don't know what they're looking at but just because you uh got a mask on and you got a hoodie on do you not know that they already have facial recognition technology where they can see through all that bullshit this was all a test run for the public anytime they were pushing you know the hoodie the mask and all that man look that's to get you comfortable and obviously these 20 people were quite comfortable doing a broad daylight jewelry heist. And for uh, time-wise, they're probably all looking at a minimum decade under the Hobbs Act. If they have more than one smash and grab, deal might be 15 to 20. I've seen people plead out 20 years uh, conspiracy, uh, robbery, conspiracy, commit robbery. Um, you're, you're talking about um, then the, the amount of the theft. Then you're talking about if there's anybody in there that was false imprisonment. Uh, all these are just stacked charges. You're, you're, the, these guys' indictments is going to be probably 15, 20 charges, if not more. But... Uh, yeah, under the Hobbs Act, they're, they're going to, you know, get picked up by the feds and they will um, be looking at 85 percent and they will fill up a prison bed space at the end of the day. If you can, if you even know 20 people that are that down to commit a jewelry store heist in the broad daylight, damn. You should be able to get those 20 people to put up anywhere from three to 500 bucks each and you guys can start a business. And, you know, it might sound corny. Oh, man, that's corny, man. Start a business, man. But 20 people, that's 20 different ideas. That's 20 uh, ways of utilizing brain power. And, uh, you know, if you think that, you know, this type of crime and this type of behavior is no big thing and you're comfortable with the level of crime that's taking place in a lot of these blue states, then, hey, uh, more power to you, man. Stay there and don't move to a red state. And uh, continue to vote for the people 
that you currently have in office since they're doing such a great job. I mean, this is not something that happened overnight. This is all by design. When you look at the accountability factor and how they basically convinced these people that there would be no consequence for your, their action and that there's not enough police to go around to even catch you anyways. I've been in rooms with really bad conversations with bad ideas and the worst thing I didn't do was just walk out of there. But at the time, my mind was not very mature. My thoughts were not as well rounded as they are now. So I try to share this with you guys because maybe you don't have that uncle or that dad in your life or that cousin or that OG homie who's gonna tell you like, look man, this shit right here is for the birds. Cause you're gonna go to the penitentiary, you're gonna work for pennies on a dollar. So whatever little watches, jewelry, necklaces you stole and you know, you thought you made a little bit of money and then you divide that by the amount of years you're gonna do, you're, you're literally, uh, you know, set yourself up for slave labor. I mean, I don't know. I, I, I've never seen a, a, a 20 person heist and just, you know, two, you know, they were in there for roughly almost seemed like two minutes and, and got away. And I guess there have been some arrests made already, but um, yeah, this is, this is what happens when you have b bad policies and people thinking that robbing a jewelry store in the broad daylight is better than getting together and um, maybe washing cars, detailing cars, painting a house, um, doing a power, uh, pressure washing business. Um, I mean, there's so many things you can do with 20 people. I don't even know 20 people. Not not like at that level that I, I would, you know, put myself in a situation to go and, and do something stupid with. It was bad enough. I entertained two people to go do something and ended up getting a decade for it. I'm not even, in, I, I don't even know how I entertained that at the time. Actually, I do. No, let me, let me, let me back it up. I entertained that at the time because my level of thinking and the frequency I was on was so low that dots of that stature would resonate with my frequency at the time. See, when you elevate your frequency and elevate your circle of friends, the people who you're around, who are moving and shaking, th those thoughts don't even entertain you. You know, somebody came, hey, big hurricane, I gotta go put, in. look, man, you're on your own. You know, I'm boop, block. I don't entertain no bullshit, but I did at one point. And uh, as a young person, I know there are a lot of bullshit thoughts coming coming to your mind and, you know, in conversation and, oh man, the homie got away with a lick. He pop in there, he got the rolly or he got the, the jewelry and he's telling you he's getting away with this. Yeah, so, you know, temporarily people will get away. There's a lot of people who, you know, gotten away, but a lot of them have gotten caught later. That's just the reality of it. You get away, uh, you know, you think you, you, you know, you're, you're moving and shaking. Statue limitation on that, I think it's uh, maybe seven years. They got seven years, you know, the pendulum swings, swings the other way. They get a task force that's basically investigating smash and grabs, jewelry heist. They start doing the calculations and then they just go through and bust everybody, make you plead out. You go to trial, you get your wig split, but they got seven years, roughly a decade to investigate these cases. So it's not like you got away with anything. You know, somebody get caught for driving over the speed limit and they heard about you, that you did a robbery um, three years ago. They drop your information, that you run, you, now you become a, a suspect. Dude, that's how easy it happens. <laughs> You're not getting away with a bad bad relationship, girlfriend get mad, anonymous call. Yeah, my boyfriend, he was a part of that Sunnyvale uh, 20 man heist. You guys don't get it. I'm trying to lace you up, I'm trying to save your life so you don't waste it. There's so much more you could be doing. Big Herc 916, fresh out.
subscribe, like the channel, and... Uh Lockdown's over. Get your yard time in. Time to pick up a limited edition GTA poster signed by me for $10. Or with your purchase of a Wig Splitter Porsche t-shirt, I'll throw in a free poster but signed. Smelly ball sack and a funky hoo-ha. Big Herc said wash that ass. Pick you up a t-shirt at freshoutseries.com.